Hello everybody, welcome back. Minor Mountain here. And this is Ghosts of the Pixel Dungeon. This is part one of a two-part series. Um, this one we're going to be looking at basically your friendly ghost, sad ghost. Sad ghost right here, looking for a fetid rat. He says he wants you to slay the fetid rat. What the fetid rat is, is a, well it looks like a normal rat except it's got a cloud of paralytic gas around it that obviously paralyzes you. And I believe he's stronger and has more hit points. The rat will not spawn until you talk to the ghost. You have to physically talk to the ghost. Uh, and then he'll always be in the level that the the ghost is on. So you got to find the rat. You have to slay him. I believe he'll drop a skull or something to that effect. And then you take that back to the ghost and he will give you a choice of either a uh, ghost weapon or ghost armor. So right now I'm looking around for the rat. I've already talked to the ghost. There's the ghost. Here's a little quick tip. If you're having problems finding the, the rat, the ghost will usually lead you to him. I don't know if it's something they've put in the game or it just happens to be coincidence every time I play though. It seems that if you stick around the ghost long enough, you'll run into the rat. Okay, so there's the rat. Uh, he got away. Take this guy out. Actually, this guy almost takes me out. Halfway dead here. So now we'll face the rat. So there's your rat. And basically what I'm going to do is like a melee attack. I mean, any distance weapon I can. Uh-oh, paralyzed. That's what happens if you get in the cloud. So I try to hit him with distance weapons until he gets close and then melee and then move. One melee attack, then move back. Try to try to stay out of that gas cloud. I'm almost dead here, um, so I'm basically just running. That's a great way, if you're not starving, to get health back, especially if an enemy's on you. So, hey, look, see, we ran into the ghost there. Those two seem to stick around each other, so. Anyway, I got a little more health here. See that Null Scout, so I'm like, all right, let's just do this, let's take him out. Gotta go for it sometimes. Okay, took him out. I'm gonna get out of the gas cloud. He dropped the skull. Come over here, take out this Null Scout. Boomerang, upgraded twice. I love that weapon. The boomerang that the Hunters carries. Ghost weapon is usually what I pick. You can pick ghost armor, but I, I I always pick the weapon. That's just me. But yeah, upgrade that boomerang twice or more. It makes a really good, really good distance weapon. All right, we got another sad ghost. I was once like you, strong and confident, and now I am dead. Can't leave this place. Not until I have my revenge. So that was it. Anyway, there he is. So once again, you see I'm melee, and then I move. Melee, move. I think I get caught in it here. All right. So grab the skull. Run into the ghost again. Ghost weapon is what I always pick. drop for me here. Ooh, lucky battle axe. Look at that thing. 14 strength. I, I can't wield it yet, but uh, for level 2 of the pixel dungeon, that's a really good weapon to have. Alright. Another ghost. He wants another rat. There are other types of ghosts, I promise. I just happen to run into these the most. Stick and move. Melee. Step back one. Melee. Step back one. Uh, just try to stay out of that gas cloud. Oh, I got paralyzed, but he died. Pick up the skull. Find the ghost. Pick your prize. It's that easy. Don't have to be scared of ghosts. What'd he drop for me? Let's see. Uh, mace plus two. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so this one, this guy, sad ghost, he wants the dried rose. So the dried rose will drop from any sort of enemy in the dungeon. So. But it won't drop, won't spawn, until you talk to the ghost. And it has to be on the same level. It'll always be on the same level. So, I go around looking for him. I cut all that out because you guys don't need to watch that. A couple of rats here. Check this out. Bam, that first one dropped a dried rose. That's what that is, anyway. Pick that up. Take that to the ghost. Here, I'll show you what it looks like in the inventory. Dry Rose, long ago, has kept all his petals, hmm. Interesting. But yeah, that's what he wants. Give that to him, and ghost weapon, ghost armor. It's a toss up, sometimes you get something, meh, sometimes you get something really good. 
Uh, got a dagger there, plus two. Nice. For level two of the Pixel Dungeon, that's very good. Okay, this is the last sad ghost. Uh, he, he says, destroy my curse. If you say no, he just moves on. If you say yes, this is what happens. He turns into an evil ghost. Check this out. Boom. And he starts coming after you. This guy's actually really easy to beat. He can dodge a lot of distance attacks. Uh, and the door trick does not work on him. Dragging him through a door, like most other evil ghosts, will get you an advantage hit on him. But it doesn't really work for him. However, if you've noticed here, he moves very slow. He's half your speed. So you can take a step, hit him. Take a step, hit him. And you'll never get hit if you do it right. He's not that strong anyway. And after you destroy him, the ghost comes back, the good ghost, and gives you a choice of ghost weapon or armor. I actually remember playing this game and they didn't have that in the game. Anyway, uh, make sure you watch part two. Hit that like button if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. That's all I got time for today. Minor Mountain out. Peace.